Yeah. October 26, 2009. After departure from Les Sables d'Olonne. My name is Alessandro Di Benedetto. I'm 41. Three years ago, Alessandro Di Benedetto set off on a journey no man had ever done, an around-the-world solitary with no stopovers, no assistance, at the helm of a 23-feet sailboat. In short, the course of the Vendée Globe in a nutshell. I don't think I'm crazy, but I'll let the people judge. Despite this masting around Cape Horn, Alessandro doesn't give up. He builds a jury rig and reaches Les Sables d'Olonne in 268 days, so consequently, we're in spring. Why the Vendée Globe? Because it's great. It's magical. I feel privileged to have that chance. Before reaching this stage, this Franco-Italian, adopted Sablé, had to search for a 60-feet monohull. His pick went for a reliable boat that will have had four participations in the Vendée Globe and always finished with a good ranking. It's splendid. A sailboard with monster power. A dream come true. Maybe not the fastest, probably the longest, but I'm going to try and give my best performance. Alessandro Di Benedetto agrees his preparation looked more like a race against the clock. A persevering man who loves challenges, he knows what he's able to accomplish. He also knows the route better than his boat. My strong side? Maybe having done the route already. The experience of the Great South and my around-the-world trip. My weak sides? The lack of experience of this type of navigation in a race. And with this type of boat. Alessandro's main objective is above all to finish the race with the best possible ranking, but his wish is also to tell his story daily to his audience, sharing his dream. Let's bet he'll find the right words to do so. There's a proverb, I invented one. It goes, don't fear the great wave you see, but the one it hides.